one, and welcome back to The Joy of Painting. I'm Bob Ross. Like every day, today's a wonderful day to paint, so let's go ahead and look at our colors. Purple Nurple, Thiff of the Halo Blue, A Green New Deal, Brown Like a Hershey Kiss, Light Thiff of the Halo Blue, Red Dead Redemption, Yellow Like a Sunflower, Light Black, and Dark White. I've already coated the canvas in liquid white, so it should be wet, slick, and ready to go. Let's paint a happy sky. And we'll add a touch of Red Dead Redemption down here at the bottom. There. Now what do you say we paint a lake down at the bottom? This is where all our happy little fish live. Now what do you say we paint some trees off in the distance? Look at all these happy little trees. Now what do you say we paint some a little bit closer? Just draw your stem and make Z's all the way down. And I gave him a few friends because even trees need friends. Ooh. Ah. Happy New Year. And the little boy helped the old lady cross the street. Now here's Amy with the weather. What an amazing story. Now today's weather. 2020, I will be. Oh my. I will also be. Wait. Oh, divorce. Okay, what else will happen? Oh my, I'm going to marry a sugar mama and then she's going to divorce me. Goodbye. Free Shavaka, dude. I'm going to drop my croissant. I'm in my mom's car. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Uh, yeah. What's nine plus ten? Twenty-one. You stupid. <laughs> what are those? A potato flew around my room. Okay, I have a New Year's joke. I haven't showered since 2018. <laughs> Don't you mean 2019 though? <laughs> no. <laughs> Today I'm going to get these stints and every stitches, everything taken out of my nose. So I'm going to take y'all with me through the process. I'm eating pudding. <laughs> oh. I'm doing my makeup. That sounded weird. You're my makeup. That also sounded weird. Hair and transition. Uh, I thought it. Okay. Booty. Sorry. Okay, now I take my antibiotics and pain medicine, and then I will see y'all there. Oh, oh wow. Oh my, oh my goodness, it's crazy! Hey, do you think I could have a nugget? Yeah, go ahead, go for it. Oh, thank you. Nah, you asked for a single nugget. What you doing? Put my nuggets back. Put my nuggets back. I'm gonna turn this TikTok into the 20th Century Fox theme. First, let's get that video in there. Then put in the 20th Century Fox theme. Then make some cuts so it aligns. Then do some pitch editing. And with some last touches, here's the final product. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
pam pam pa pum 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 pam pa pum 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 Hashtag growing up with dark skin when your teacher turns off the lights in the class and someone asks for you first. I'd rather kill myself than commit suicide. Stop betting in y'all's pics. What if y'all go missing? How you expect us to find you if you look like Beyonce on Facebook and keep giving us? Just farted loudly in front of a Vietnam vet. He strangled me. Ghetto people always naming their kids after stuff they can't afford. Mercedes, Diamond, Bentley, Pearl, Light Bill, Rent, Carnage. Wake up, friends, because it's time for Cooking with Pippa. Today we're going to be making souffle pancakes because I saw them on TikTok and I haven't taken my Adderall yet today, so a bitch is hungry. Let's make our boy Ratatouille proud. After you get your ingredients together, you're going to separate the egg yolks and the egg whites, and you're going to whip those little babies up till she be looking like a bubble bath. Interruption! These are the pants I got for Christmas. They have six pockets, and I love them more than life itself. Let's carry on. Fold the whites into the rest of the ingredients, but be gentle so you don't hurt their feelings. Get the thingy, spray, pour the shit in, cover it up like all your emotional trauma. Flip, serve, bada-bing, bada-boom, a delicacy! Stop it. Love each other. <laughs> You're gay. Stop it. Something on this app. And that realization is that you need a talent to exceed on here. Um, I don't have one. Actually, I do. And that's lip syncing. Gotcha. <laughs> Here's a hundred layers of Takis. Uh -huh, uh huh. First, we're gonna start off with rolling the pepper in between your fingers like this, and we're gonna do this a hundred times and see how it turns out. Here's the second. Here's the tenth. Oh my god. Oh, look at my fingers. Ooh. This is twenty. Holy shit. Like it's already starting to form like clumps on my finger. Holy shit. We're at 50, holy shit. What is that huge glob that is like forming? Like what the actual fuck? <gasps> my mouth is watering like so bad. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm jumping fast, but this is 80, holy crap. Ah, I'm running out of time. 90, and here is the 100th one. Shit, I need to grab it. Okay, I'm running out of time, but I'm gonna grab one last one. Here's the 100th. I think I'm gonna try this thumb because it has the most. One, two, three. Nuggets. Start with that chicken breast. Go ahead and cut it up into little cubes and we're gonna blend it in batches and we're gonna pulse it. You could use a grinder if you have one, but I don't have one. I'm guessing a lot of you don't have one. You could use a blender, works just as good. Season the meat with a bunch of salt and pepper. And then the key to shaping your nuggets is to keep your hands wet so it doesn't stick to you. So you feel me? We made a few McDonald's shakes and you know, we went off with some dinosaurs, made a country, and look at that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Throw it into the freezer for like two hours. For the dry mix, we're going to go flour, cornstarch, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, mix it up. For the wet batter, we're going to go eggs, half a cup of water, fourth cup of cornstarch, and whip that up. Then once your nuggets are hard, we're going to go dry, wet, dry, wet, and then leave on there. And then once you do that, you're going to heat up some oil once it bubbles around the, the stick, the wood, the chopstick, fuck. Throw them into the oil. Make sure they don't stick to each other. Fry them for about two minutes each side. Take them out, and you got chicken McNuggets. Yes, sir. Uh, King. Um, can I have a McRib meal? Large size with the Dr. Pepper. And the lady says, well, okay, uh, that'd be 6 dollars 
I said, ain't you forgetting something? Ma'am. And she said, well, what? I said, you're supposed to offer me the extra McRib for a dollar when you buy the McRib meal. You ain't gonna believe it. She looked me up and down. And she said, well, don't look like you need the extra McRib. Excuse me, bitch. I throw punch that bitch. I knocked her ass down. I'm in the house. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 walk. DJ, stop making TikToks. Okay. Here are all of the members of the Hype House. Bruh. The 15-year-old. Oh, me? Yeah, I'm 15. Mm -hmm. I'm 15 years old. The white kid who said the N-word. Oh, that bitch from Germany? Yeah, she's a stupid fucking... And the rest of us are indistinguishable from one another because we are white and have no personality, but look at our funny dance. Ah Here's a list of people that should be drafted in the war before me. Every member of the Hype House. Sorry guys, I don't make the rules. BTS fans, you guys are literally an army. Every theater kid that sings Hamilton. There's a couple songs about war in there. Anti-vax people! And last and certainly least, people that put ketchup on their french fries. Heard about this whole World War III nonsense, and if you're a guy like me and you don't want to be drafted, I'm going to show y'all how to dodge it. You just got to be a woman since we still don't have gender equality. So first you just need a wig, and it might not be cute, but we'll fix that shit later. And you're going to do your base makeup, so foundation, concealer to cover up your nasty face. Might want to pin your hair back. And a very important step to this is bronzer, because if you're like me and you have a defined jawline, that shit is too masculine. So we need to focus on the cheekbones to take away from the jawline and just warm up our faces make it nice and pretty and then once you bake your face and wipe it off you're gonna see that your cheekbones are nice and bronze and defined and it takes away from that big ass jawline and then for brows today you just want to make sure they're nice and shaped because if your brows are bushy it comes off as masculine and we don't want that and i'm just gonna do some eyeshadow eyeliner and then last but not least we need some blush highlight and lashes and then baby girl trust me boom you ready to dodge the draft and plan your escape to canada What's the ugliest Disney character? That'd be me. Let's see here. <laughs> I am trying one more time. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you know what? Third time's a charm. Come on. Good character, please. Okay. <laughs> this is try number four. Um. This is try number five. Please give me a Disney princess so I can brag about it to all of my friends. <laughs> Jordan is okay that in elementary school, you would go out during recess and catch as many ladybugs as you could from the bushes in a water bottle then you would bring it back into your fourth grade classroom and slowly release them one by one to see if your teacher would notice. <laughs>